What's up guys, Panic Knife here with TheAwfulGamer.com and today I'm going to be covering the boss fights in Katamimu hard mode in uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. Brand new hard mode for 2.0. Uh, this one is actually the most challenging, I believe, of the, all the new hard modes. Mandalorian Raiders can have some tough spots, but this one definitely is. Uh, it has some tricky spot, spots, so definitely check out this video and uh, look at it if you've got any questions in terms of the boss fights. The first boss is uh, this police dude and his droid bot dog guy. Um, <laughs> he Basically, the, the trick is you're going to be jumping on the boss right from the start. Um, he's going to do some sort of raid damage every once in a while. It's not too big of a deal as long as the healer's paying attention. But the real mechanic is when he says that his droid has put someone under arrest. That person is going to look for, on the ground, a an orange circle and stand behind it. The droid will ro walk towards you. If he actually catches you, he's going to knock the shit out of you. So make sure he doesn't catch you. Um, just wa walk and stand behind that thing. He will walk into that circle and uh, basically it'll put him in jail. If you step in the circle, it'll put you there, which makes you incredibly vulnerable and you are basically going to die. So don't let that happen to you. Um, put that bot into the jail and switch immediately off, uh, off of the main boss onto the bot and DPS him down. Basically, uh, it's pretty simple at that point. If you are able to take the boss down in one, or the uh, the droids down in one jail phase, you're a pro. If not, you're not. But that's not a big deal. He'll just uh, he'll go out out of that little box in, in uh, I think about 30 seconds, and then he'll uh, he'll basically start the phase over again. So just make sure when he's in that jail thing, you're DPSing down the bot. When he's not, DPS down the uh, the boss himself. The reason you have to wait until he's in that thing is that he does like have damage if you uh, if you're not in that uh, jail little box mechanic thingy. So uh, only attack him when he's there. Uh, it's pretty simple. So don't worry about it too much. Uh, he doesn't do a whole lot of damage otherwise. So yeah, that's about it. Second boss is uh, this this Wookie dude. Um, <laughs> Wookie dude basically is uh it's a dps race more or less um he'll spawn these ugnots that uh will attack your healer and get you killed um just aim his flamethrower cone into the uh ugnots and the ugnots will go down quickly little piggies will get roasted so uh make sure you stay on the dps or stay dip dpsing on the boss so that you don't get too many of them out there obviously if there are a ton of them out there it acts like a soft and rage and kills everyone so just make sure you uh, you have your tank point them in, point them into the flamethrower and that's about it. There is actually a trick method that I don't show in this video where you uh, you pull the boss back to the boxes towards the front of the landing pad. Uh, it actually takes longer in my opinion because you have to take down all those uh, the little piggies afterwards. But uh, basically, if you want to try that, you don't want to take as much damage. Jump up on the boxes, uh, have uh, let your tank like intercede up to the boxes, or Sork can pull them or something like that. Uh, but it's not that big of a deal. It's not a tough fight, so I don't really recommend going through and uh, glitching it out. It's not that big of a deal. The third fight is the bonus boss, and he actually drops the good loot, um, the 69 level gear. So I'd highly recommend doing that. Just make sure you kill enough uh, mobs on the way up there. Uh, basically, the trick to the boss is he does one thing, which is a pull-in AoE uh, damage thing, which will hurt quite a bit. So you're gonna, as soon as he pulls you in, run out, make sure you get to the outside of the red circle, and then rinse repeat. He does ag uh, aggro drop and attack one person in the in the raid for like 13k or so. That can get a little bit spicy if you're the healer. Make sure you're utilizing everything you have, like your AoE heals especially. Uh, for a Sork healer like me, what I do is whenever the raid gets pulled out, I will, uh, you know, I'll force speed out of there and then immediately drop a puddle down by the boss. If people are stacking up, it makes it a whole lot easier. Or if they're able to, you know, entrench or something like that and not get pulled in, that makes it even easier. He does have a good amount of HP, so it does turn into a little bit of a healer check, but it's not the worst fight I've ever had. <laughs> so... Uh, just, you know, stick with it and AoE heal to your heart's content. Anyway, the last boss is a bitch. This guy, uh, I forget his name. I probably could have just looked at the video, but, you know, whatever. He uh, he does more or less no damage. But that being said, 
there is an enormous amount of mechanical, you know, moving around and, and paying attention to your environment in this fight. He will launch rockets, so you will have to look up at the ceiling or have somebody in your group look up at the ceiling and tell you where the rockets are going to go down. They're one of four places, and uh, th there will be steam coming from them, so it will be very obvious which one is launching. you got to stay away from those areas because they will one-shot you if you get are in that area and get uh, fireballed. Well, maybe not one shot, but, you know, if you're in there for more than, like, two seconds or so, you will die. So make sure you're not standing in those areas. Also, he does a knockback into those areas, which is lovely. So you might want to take him along the walls to make sure he doesn't knock you back into those uh, those rockets. Uh, the, the other little trick, though, is that he does this move called Shackle. Shackle is a pain in the dick. Basically, uh, he'll... Uh, you know, glue you to the ground so you can't move, and that's a good way to get launched by the rocket. So make sure it'll basically it'll flash on screen, and it will uh, you'll see little blue you know loops around your feet or something like that, shackles if you will. <laughs> um, make sure you're paying attention. That's the biggest thing. If you see somebody in your group uh, have a flash near them, they probably just got shackled. What you're going to need to do is run over their feet, and they will. it'll say a uh, raid warning saying uh, X has unlocked the shackles or something like that. There actually is no... Uh, there's no thing that tells you that you are getting shackled, so that's the big thing. You just have to really pay attention, and if you're pugging this uh, this fight, it can be uh, quite a pain in the ass if people aren't paying attention to shackles because, you know, that that fire is so overpowered, you'll get you know pulled out, or you'll get you know killed I'm pretty shackled. quickly. So you actually can use your CC breaker to get out of him, but obviously can't use it very frequently. Um, the other trick to it is basically. If you spread out, I've heard it uses it, it, it applies the shackles less frequently and to fewer people. Um, if you're stacked, I've seen people like a, a group of four all get shackled at the same time, and then that's GG. And, you know, one person has to break the shackle and get everybody else, or else the uh, the the boss fight is going to fail. So that means that uh, you need to make sure you're paying attention. That's all it really is. Uh, this fight gives you uh, another piece of 69 level gear. So that's uh, that's pretty much that. You will get two pieces of gear, uh, I think like 16 elite comms, so it's highly worth it doing these flashpoints right now. Uh, once everybody starts getting 72 level gear, it might not be as much uh, of in demand, but right now just queue up for Group Finder and do them. Anyway, with TheAwfulGamer.com, Panic Knife here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, watch the rest of my swoter shit, and I'll talk to you guys later.